Moving on, 18-month-old Farzad was one of the several children who was handed over to the U.S. Marines by their Afghan parents during the chaotic Kabul withdrawal process. After months of staying missing, the 18-month-old Afghan toddler has now finally reunited with his family. Our next report brings you the entire story. Take a look. <laughs> The father of 18-month-old Farzad worked for the U.S. Embassy in Kabul. After the Taliban took over Afghanistan, Farzad's family raced to Kabul airport in hopes of being evacuated from the country. Since my husband's life was in danger, we left our house and headed to the airport because we heard that Americans were evacuating people who worked with them. U.S. Marines moved the children inside the airport to shelter them from the high heat and the huge crowds at the gates. Farzad's uncle, Ahmad Zawarzada, who was also trying to get his family out, says Farzad was one of the children lifted over barbed wire. The Marines asked us to give them our children so that they move them to the other side of the gate in the airport. We handed them three of our family's children. The two families entered the airport three hours later and were reunited with two of the three children. But baby Farzad was nowhere to be seen. After three hours of trying to get in, we finally succeeded. After searching for the kids, we found two of them. One of them was my little daughter and the other one was my niece. But despite efforts, we failed to find the third child. Farzad's father went back outside the airport looking for his son. When we lost our son in the airport, my husband left the airport to look for him. He would show my son's photo to everyone, hoping to find him. My husband stayed back to search for my son. The two families made it out of Afghanistan to a camp in Qatar, leaving a father in search for his son in Kabul. An irony that still puzzles Wahida. We were leaving my country because my husband's life was in danger. But at the end, it was my husband who stayed back and my son disappeared. Farzad's father is still at risk in Afghanistan. For 17 days, the 18-year-old mother did not know her son's whereabouts or well-being. I was feeling as if I were dead too. It's very difficult for a mother. That all changed in a Qatari camp when the family received a message. We hadn't been in communication with anyone in those two weeks. After 15 days, when I connected to the newly installed Wi-Fi in the camp, the first message that I noticed was from some folks in Norway. Their message said that Farzad was with them. We were relieved and thankful as they became Farzad's temporary parents. Farzad stayed in Norway for 43 days while his mother was shifted to a camp in the U.S. After we arrived in a refugee camp in the U.S., they transported our son from Norway. After confirming he was my child through a DNA test, they gave me my child. The family resides in Richmond, Virginia, and are now praying for a reunion with Farzad's father, who is still in Kabul, hoping to be evacuated by the U.S. He requested his identity be kept secret for his safety. I thank the U.S. for reuniting my son with his mother. I miss them a lot and request the U.S. government to include me in this process of evacuation. My family needs me, and I need my family. For Noshaba Ashna in Richmond, Virginia, Bejan Hamdard, VOA News. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.